welcome to Panthaki Learn. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. To see about segmentation. Segmentation is one of the most important process inside the image. Uh, whenever we are just working on this image processing for multiple uh, types of functions, especially object detection or object classification, face recognition, or let it be uh, multiple object deductions or traffic sign recognition, or if you go for vehicle deductions, even we can also apply it for tumor recognition or tumor area calculation. So this kind of uh, sections, we will be able to work it out. So from this particular sections, here we have to apply this entire kind of segmentation only over there. So now itself, as the particular image, you can see uh, how that uh, the real image and the segmented image is deferred. So here you can direct the person, you can segment that particular person into a different color. So these types of implementations can be provided and where these segmentations are used means mostly for artificial intelligence based vehicles or artificial intelligence based recognition purpose. So this particular recognitions and all uh, it will be mostly working on only based on the segmentation because whatever they do only based on this binary data or segmented data whatever we program it throughout the hardware. So for that programming we have multiple devices the same method of programming, the same implementations of programming can be applied to multiple sections uh, throughout that complete analysis. So based on that particular analysis only, the segmentation will be working. So today we will be seeing three different types of uh, segmentation like binary, k-means and spatial. So now let us start with image segmentation. Inside the image processing or computer visioning, uh, process of partitioning each and every kinds of uh, object or a particular area that is known as the segmentation. So this particular segmentation here we will be mostly working on with uh, the goal in order to separate only a particular part from the entire image. For example, if you are creating an AI device to uh, target your brain tumor. so you will be providing that particular tumor inside that uh, complete section. So once after the deep learning process or machine learning process, whether the tumor is present or not, we have to classify. And after that, if the tumor is present, we should know where the tumor is there. And for that process only, we can use this segmentation, like object detection. If you are going with multiple object detection, therefore that particular uh, different, different objects are kept in a row and uh, each and every object we will be training towards that uh, neural network so this bottle means bottle book means book person means person like that when you go for the test input or the live camera data it will be segmenting each and every object over there and from that they will be able to classify what type of object this is so based on this particular sections only here we can say it as multiple object deduction and uh, the tumor classifications or tumor recognition purpose. So this kind of Im implementations only they will be doing by using the segmentation process. So in that first we are going to see regarding towards the k-means. K-means it is an unsupervised algorithm which is used to segment the interest area from a background of a separate image. So how that particular uh, interest area can be separated means based on the groups of clustering. So this is an unsupervised algorithm, which is a plus also known as a clustering algorithm. In machine learning, this is used to cluster the data set, but in image processing, this is only used for segmentation purpose. So by providing the different different segmentation value, this particular k-means algorithm will be able to classify or will be able to separate that particular object from that particular image. So for this, here we can use that particular different centroid values which works on the median formula. So from that image you will be having a separate range and from that particular range it will be able to collect the data and according to the cluster value. For example, the minimum cluster value is 2. So 2 stands for 0 and 1. If you are providing as 3, 0, 1, 2, 3. 
and like that you will be having till maximum of eight clusters so inside the image segmentation you are allowed to do only that eight uh, segment sections if you are going with the binary means you will be able to vary from 0 to 255 that is also uh, widely used over here for multiple segmentation purpose now let us go with the k-means part so here as usual i have some different images so this is one of the image this is thermal image and this is multiple color based image now by using the k-means algorithm we are going to cluster and see what and all the different types of segmentation we will be able to collect it just a moment okay so here as uh, the previous programs we have provided all the clear sections and this is to provide the input image and after providing that input image we have to convert into the grayscale so rgb to gray which comes under the pre-processing part now if you want to reshape that particular image that is also applicable by using the reshape function after that here we have to provide the name of k-means so this is known as a k-means part and this particular k-means uh, here we have to provide that uh, complete reshaped data or the data that has been converted into the double so double means it is a set of values uh, which is known as the double uh, especially inside the oops In, inside that particular oops programming you might have heard that particular double data type so we have to convert that reshaped data type into the double part and from the double only here we will be providing it as input towards the k-means and this is known as the cluster here i have provided the maximum range of eight and after that after reshaping that particular k mean image that particular uh, segmentation also will be applied over here so therefore here uh, the segmentation is applied with the help of the clustering and after that particular reshape uh, here we will be providing that uh, id so each and every id it is nothing but for uh, segmentation purpose only so what will be that particular data for k equal to 1 k equal to 2 k equal to 3 and k equal to 4 so just to check out that particular different different functions only here we have applied it so now i am going to upload a normal image let us take our penguin image itself so till that particular clusters of four here we are able to see now so let us see the different images so this will be the original image gray converted binary equalized image reshaped image k equal to 1 k equal to 2 k equal to 3 and k equal to 4 so these are the different types of clusters here we will be able to obtain now for these images we can just try to change the range of clustering so now here i will apply it for 4 and let us see the output so only some slight changes are there and uh, let us also try to implement till the 8 value 8 value of id so for that here we have to increase it okay so here 8 Seven, six, five. Okay, so everything is set. Now let us try for it. So this will be nothing but the segmentation provided for the eighth cluster of data. This for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one rest of them are same let us check whether it is applicable for 4 so if you are applying for uh, 4 with 8 displacements it is not applicable because that clusters has not been separated for that that's why it is blank over here where it starts with 4 thank you for watching our video if you like this video Kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel.